$21,017 from one t-shirt design per month. That is what I want to show you today, but I want to do this a little bit differently. Rather than just show you the design and talk about the keywords, I thought I'm going to add another whole element to it and show you the search results for specific keywords that could be helping this t-shirt sell. And what I mean by that is, I mean, we're gonna go over to the Google Keyword Planner tool near the end of this video, and I'm going to show you the keywords that this seller is using, and we're gonna see how many searches those keywords are actually getting, because that is a huge factor to determine if this shirt will be popular and if it will get sales. So without further ado, let me show you this shirt and we can get cracking on with the video. But before we do, you can see here it says 47,100. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button and help me get to 50,000 subscribers. It would mean the world and it would just, it would be pretty cool just to hit 50,000. Either way, let's get cracking on with the video. So this is the t-shirt that we are talking about. I love hot mums. Yes, I know. You're probably thinking, what the hell? And that is very, very fair. I mean, when we think of print on demand t-shirts, I like to be able to show you the most random, obscure, out of the ordinary t-shirts as possible. And that's exactly what this is, which is why it caught my eye. And I was thinking if this person can get sales with, with one font, with three words, and just a heart sign. I mean, it just goes to show that anything is possible. A lot of this is luck, and it's just whether or not you get you get you know hit on the algorithm and you get ranked well. But at the end of the day, a lot of this is luck. So the little motivation part here is don't stop trying. Hopefully, one day one of your designs will take off. So now let's have a look at this actual design. We're going to look at the numbers in just a second. Firstly, let's just talk about the design. So this is a very, very classic font. I don't know the name of this font, but if you want to find out this font, you can just take a, a screenshot and go to what the font, and it will tell you what the name of the font is. You just have to upload the screenshot of the font here, right? And very easy to take a screenshot, right? And then it tells you to pick an area. You click next, and it will tell you the most similar font. So Cooper, that looks like the exact font, in fact. So there you go, that's the font, Cooper. And that's how easy it is to find the font that someone could be using. But either way, that's the font. The heart, the heart they probably could have got from anywhere. Vexels, Canva, place it, anywhere really. It's literally just a heart. They could have drawn it themselves. But based on the fact that they've just done a three letter design, I doubt they did draw the heart themselves. Now, this is selling at $16.99, which means the profit margin is not amazing, but it's also not bad. I mean, that's a couple of dollars. That's like two or three dollars, about three dollars of royalties per sale. So, you know, that's pretty, pretty good. Now, let's talk about the keywords. And we can see they've used keywords in four places. The first one is the brand. I heart hot mums. Now, a lot of people, you know, will pick a brand name that sounds professional and cool, like unique t-shirts for women or something like that, right? But that doesn't have any keywords and no one really cares. So what you really want to do is use the brand to actually put some more keywords in there. So I heart hot mums and heart is just another word for saying love, which is great. You then got the title, I love hot mums t-shirt, funny red heart love mums t-shirt. Now they've used the word t-shirt here. I know it's not spelt the same as this, but either way, with Amazon, they don't really like it when you use the word t-shirt, but this person has obviously wanted to get that keyword in there. Another way of getting the word t-shirt is using the word T, so T-E-E, -E. that's a good keyword, and also it doesn't really register with Amazon's radar. But either way, you don't want to be doing things to, you know, avoid Amazon's radar. You just want to be doing this completely by the board so that your shirt doesn't get shut down, especially if it's taking off like this. So great keywords in the title. Now in the script in the in the bullets, I should say, you've got a ton of keywords. I love hot mum t-shirt with hot print graphic, funny Valentine's Day, like literally shirt for dad, mum's shirt with mum quote, fun. Like there is just a ton of keywords. In fact, this is probably the most amount of keywords I've ever seen on an Amazon merch shirt. And then if we go further down, we've got even more keywords in the description. So this person has really gone to town on keywords and it shows because they are getting sales. Let's have a look. So they are making $21,017 in revenue per month, revenue. Now in terms of profit, 
They're selling at $16.99, which means they're making around $3 in royalties, just a tiny bit less, maybe $2.90 something in royalties. And at 1,237 sales, they're making around $3,700 a month in profit. Now, I know that's a, a big way off the 21,000 in revenue. However, 3,700 a month from one design is, is pretty good. Right, I would not be unhappy with that. And that is very, very good. They've got a good amount of re reviews, 85. Their BSR is 16,000 and it's going up. So I think, I think this is just a perfect, perfect combination of text-based simple design for a very, very good price. I speak about price in a future video which is coming out. And it's just everything, just the combination works perfectly. This person has done price and keywords spot on. Right, now, let's have a look at some of these specific keywords using the Keyword Planner tool. Now, anyone can use the Keyword Planner tool. You just have to have a Google Ads account. And don't worry, you don't need to spend money on a Google Ads account. You can create the Ads account and then just use the Keyword Planner tool. And all this is, this basically searches, um, tells you the results for Google. So if a search term is getting 100,000 searches per month on Google, you can be pretty sure that it's going to be getting a lot of searches on Amazon as well, and maybe even Etsy and, and Redbubble for that matter. So let's pick a keyword. I love hot mums. Now, I doubt that's going to be getting very much. And I'm a bit nervous actually what would even show up here. But this is getting 100 to 1,000 searches a month. So not very many. Now, if we sort by the most, You've got I Love Hot Mums shirt getting 100 to 1,000 searches per month, which isn't a lot, but it's also, you know, it's not bad. Now that's just the United Kingdom. So let's change that to the USA. And now you can see it's getting 1,000 to 10,000 searches per month for I Love Hot Mums. I Love Hot Mums shirt gets one to 10,000. I Heart Hot Mums shirts getting one to 10,000. That is pretty decent. But however, they have used a whole bunch of other ones. So they've got um, anniversary gift as a keyword. Right now, this one is going to bring a lot more searches. If we click get results on anniversary gift, you're now looking at 100,000 to 1 million searches per month. Anniversary gifts by year, 10 to 100,000. You can see all of these 10 to 100,000s. It just goes on and on and on all the way down, right, to third wedding anniversary gift. This is crazy. And again, I mean, this is just some of the keywords they've used. So they've clearly done a lot of keyword research. Um, funny birthday gift, right? What about funny birthday gift? Funny birthday, no, fit, <laughs> funny, can't type today, can I? Birthday gift, what's that getting? I can imagine that's getting quite a few as well. So funny birthday gift, one to 10,000. Funny 40th birthday gift for her. That is a very long tail keyword. That kind of keyword is perfect because it's so much easier to rank when it's a longer tail keyword, yet it's still getting 1,000 to 10,000 searches per month. That is a hell of a lot of searches per month. Considering, right, this person's only getting 1,200 sales per month. That is a lot of searches when combined all of these searches you're looking at over 40, 50,000 searches per month. So that is how one would use the Google Keyword Planner tool in conjunction with you know, Amazon and potentially Redbubble or Etsy or any of the platforms that you want to use. That is it for this video. I wanted to show you the design. I wanted to show you the keywords. I wanted to show you how much money they were making and how they were doing it and their pricing. And look, at the end of the day, all you really have to do is focus on, if you're not a graphic designer that is, focus on simple phrases that people like, simple phrases that are very, you know, uh, grabby and, and, and catchy and all that kind of stuff and just stick them on t-shirts. Obviously make sure that the trademark's okay, make sure that it's getting enough traffic with keyword research, but other than that, you know, upload a whole bunch of them and hopefully one of them will take off. You can do outside kind of traffic with Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and maybe even YouTube, you know, working with some influencers to try and kickstart the sales. 
You can also buy a whole bunch yourself just to get out of whatever tier you're in. But at the end of the day, you are going to want to get a bit lucky with the Amazon algorithm and just try and get ranked organically so that you can get organic sales and make a hell of a lot more money. I hope you liked that video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think if you want me to make more of these kind of videos. And I just want to say a massive thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button to help me get to 50,000 subscribers. I'll see you in the next one.